All right. Done it again. Good old grinner. Ripped that nice dirt hole set. Yeah, boy. On we go. Check out this visibility, folks. Not much. It's a foggy morning. Well, there's a way out. From. There's a valley over there somewhere. And there's a way I'm going. Got a young female coyote here. Uh, it poured the rain last night, as you can see, and I wasn't really expecting to catch anything. So. That's a number two Duke. Uh, had a cubby set here for bobcats, and this young female wandered in, so got her. Uh, not too bad a looking fur, but like I said, it's a small one. Have caught a couple old dogs in these uh, cubby sets, but it's rare, so get her out of there and uh, remake this set and go on. We got a compass set over there so we'll see how that turns out. Onward. Got another coyote in a cubby set. I don't know what's going on with that but uh, number two duke. Uh, been using number two dukes because I had to get into some of my old traps and uh, I'm running a longer line this year. She is uh, pretty mangy. They're just rubbed really, really bad. So, But uh, yeah, that is the second yoke in a cubby set last night. And then it poured the rain. I mean, right here you can see how this old beaver pond flooded. And you can probably hear the water over there. So. That's unusual. Well, I'll remake this set. And uh, on we go. Well. Finally got me a stinker. It's the first one I've caught in a long time. Pretty critter. Right in that cubby set. Just caught a coyote in that yesterday. So, I'll have to remake that set. He tore it up pretty good. But, uh, pretty skunk. On we go. Well, that's not good. Broke a tie rod end. Come through them water holes back here. Yeah, right there it is. So I've got to try to rig something up to get me out of here. Probably, I don't know, maybe a four or five mile walk to somebody's house from here. Um, I'd probably have to go in that direction, so. <clears throat> Gonna have to uh, figure something out. Got some trapping wire there and pliers. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know uh, on Trapper's Chat, telling guys I uh, didn't travel with a cell phone. I'm running a 20 some mile trap line, but cell phones don't pick up out here, so. Wouldn't do me no good, no how. Sorry about the close-up, but I just put a string on this camera, so if I'm in the water, I don't drop it. So I'm going to have to try to uh, rig that critter up and uh, see if I can get out of here. Yeah, I know, I need new tires. That's a next season purchase. We'll see what happens. So, the main road's right up there. Uh, actually come out on top of the hill and had some traps up this holler I had to walk to so uh, road out there just takes you to the main one so I'm close um, I took my set and tongs and popped that ball joint back on there and I'm just driving really slow because the wire it's really just for looks at this point it's <laughs> Not holding anything, so anyway, said the main drag's right there, so I made her out, just limped her, I don't know, probably a two mile limp or something. But uh, we adapt and overcome us uh, true outdoorsmen. 
But that's what I get for telling Dave to get him a Honda. I mean, I got no complaints about that when I've had it for 10 years and it's been a good one. Had very little trouble out of it. Put thousands of miles on it, so I'll get her repaired and on we go. So we got the old beast back on the road. Uh, made the 40 mile round trip out and uh, got a tie rod in for it and replaced it. So I checked traps in the Jeep yesterday and we didn't get anything, but uh, back on the four wheeler today and we got us another cat. Number two Bridger, uh, just an old dirt hole set. Uh, I've caught two gray foxes here now and this bobcat. So not a huge cat, but it's uh well, it's not a bad one either, so that's a pretty little critter. Like I said number two bridger, just a dirt hole set. Uh, so uh on we go. That's a nice catch. Yeah, we got a little female gray fox here. Um one and a half Bridger offset jaws. Dirt hole set. I had it cabled off to that tree there. Uh, this is what's been getting uh, my uncle's chickens, my opinion, because his place is right down there, and up there's my old house I've been working on forever. So it's uh, good to get this little chicken killer out of here. Pretty little fox. Oh, yeah, I got a new. Uh, <clears throat> Pardon me, it's a little cold. Do some shout outs here. Uh, BYB Buck 2003, I think I said that right. R&R Outdoors. And Mink Trapping Patty. Said I think I got those right, but uh, I want to give those folks shout outs. They got some uh, trapping channels and uh, they're kind of just getting started, so a little support. Would certainly help them so I gotta get this critter out of here and uh, move on down the line we're finally getting some winter weather again so uh, on we go I got us a female coyote here number two Bridger Douglas um, dirt hole set here the base of this locust tree uh, I just caught a bobcat in that set over there um, day before yesterday, I think. It's back here in these trees, and it's a good spot. I've caught quite a few critters here in the last couple of years. But, uh, it's not a bad looking yoke. Um, so, uh, get that critter out of there, remake this set, and uh, on we go. Yeah, uh, like I said, they travel through here, so I'll be remaking that. So onward yep got us a big cat here pretty good sized male number two bridger douglas uh cubby set just using a a duck carcass you can see what's left of the duck uh, nice cat big one <clears throat> got big paws on him uh coming down this old logging road here, and this goes out to where the old railroad tracks used to be. It's a good path for predators. And so, that's another cat. Pretty good spots on it, too. Yeah, buddy. We like that. So, on we go. Yeah, this is a little more like it. <sighs> Finally getting a little dab of trapping weather. Oh yeah, love this. Yep, got another coyote here. Uh, that's a male. Um, it's not too awful big, but I won't know till I get him home and get him hung up. He's wallered in something. Of course, he made a mess of my set here. Um, number two Bridger Douglas. This is the same set I've caught a bobcat on and two gray foxes so back here in this pine and locust thicket had a trap set off there but uh, it was empty 
So I'll get this critter here loaded up and uh, away we go. Oh wait, I uh, need to give a shout out to the Skin King. That would be Perry Carswell. I just subbed his channel there a while back and uh, he's got some good trapping channel or trapping videos. <laughs> Sorry folks, y'all get a chance to check his channel out. Um, so on down the line we go. Yeah, creek's looking pretty cool. Got a beaver set down there. No luck last night. Got one up there, no luck, so there's a little activity over there on the bank. We'll see what happens with these two sets. Got a little dab of snow last night. But uh it's getting ready to rain. I gotta go pull water sets. I'd show you all this set of coyote tracks. He went all the way up the holler there to my sets. Went around my snare and didn't even get around the dirt hole, which of course it got a little snow on it, but sometimes that don't stop them. So I'm walking out of here. Uh, my other tie rod end went on the four-wheeler, so I gotta fix that again. But I was told they would wear evenly. I was just trying to wait till warmer weather to change it out, but now that's not an option. Still got um, about 12 days of the season left, and I'll try to catch a few more critters. But, uh, like I said, I gotta go pull a couple beaver sets out of the creek, because they're giving flooding, and when all this melts and it warms up here, and the way they talk, like six hours, which seems <laughs> Bizarre, but the weather's been bizarre this year, so I want to yank them sets and see what uh, Mother Nature's got in store for us. So I got to get back to the Jeep and get on down the line. I want to give a shout out to uh, Curtis Waters here before I sign off this clip. Uh, check his channel out. Young man's got uh, some pretty good trapping skills, so that's Curtis Waters. Uh, of course, I'll post the names of the channels down at the bottom of this video. So, if there ain't no links, y'all don't be lazy, just write them down and check them out when you get a chance. Later, folks. Got a big old male coyote here. Got him in this cubby set here with that raccoon carcass. I don't know, this is weird. Number two Duke. Um, you usually don't catch him in these cubby sets, but I guess he got brave and come in after the snow last night. He's running around in this beaver pond. That's a big old dog there. That's a nice one. Got pretty fur on him too. Well, I got to drag him down to the Jeep and uh, check a few more traps so that's good on we go now well, we got another yoke here that's a small guy it's a little male um, dirt hole set bridger number two dogless um, back here in this thicket I've caught a gray fox and a possum or two in this set uh, so now we're getting the rain it's melting the snow we just got a regular mess but uh, that's coyote number 16 for me this year, which is a personal best. I just caught 14 last year, and the year, season before that, when I uh, got back into trapping, I only caught three. I started halfway through the season and was just learning about the yotes, so, yeah, that is number 16. Doesn't compare to a lot of guys, but I'm pretty happy with it, so. On we go, folks. Yep. <clears throat> Got us a... That's a big male gray fox there. That's going to be one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. It'll be an old one. Uh, number two bridge or dogless. A uh, dirt hole set here uh, with the remnants of that old duck carcass. The same set I caught the bobcat in there uh, a while back. So That's a nice gray... Um, 
Uh, that could be a chicken killer too, because my uncle plays stuff there. But, uh, that's a nice fox, so uh, get this guy loaded up and uh, on we go. We'll see what happens next. I don't know if y'all can see that. Three days of trapping season left. And the frogs have already put their eggs out. Huh. Well, if that means the early spring. But, uh, that's weird. Onward. Yep, you know, we got us a big beaver here in a snare. I'm gonna have to uh, dispatch this guy here and have a look at him. That's the second one I've snared this year. Uh, another one of them trap shy ones, so. Like I said, uh, I'll get him taken care of and uh, have a look at him. <sighs> so there that beaver is, laid across the front of this 400 Honda. Um, he's close to 50 pounds, easily. You can tell that when you heft them, that's for sure. So, I said that's the second beaver I've gotten a snare this year. It was a Dakota line ghost snare and uh, this coyote snare, but I think next season uh, I might actually buy some beaver snares. But uh, that's worked for me. That's two trap shy beaver I've got with snares this year, so. On we go, folks. Wouldn't it be funny if we ended the season like this? <laughs> uh, one and a half Bridger offset Jones. Had a sit there for a fox, but Mr. Grinner decided to pay us a visit, so. Like I said, wouldn't it be funny if this is how we ended the season? Oh, well, we'll see what happens next. Yep, there's proof, y'all, that uh, my wife does come trapping with me. Wave, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Double rainbow. I'm ready to run trap. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, boy, that's nice. Got a, I don't know, probably medium sized beaver and a MB1216 JC. Yeah, that's the trap. It's a Minnesota brand. It's basically a, a 330 that's uh, got 12 to 16 jaw spread and uh, got uh, kill bars on it. But, uh, caught this up here, uh, caster mound set. Um, it's a lodge. I don't even know if it was using this old feed pile there. I've been digging in the banks up there and got a channel or two, but I'm pretty sure this is the only beaver in here. It's just up here at the beaver pond where I've took uh, uh, probably seven or eight beaver in this little stretch here in the last uh, two or three years. Well, we'll get this guy up here and have a look. Uh, well, yeah, that's bigger than what I thought. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. not bad at all. Well, I'll get it back to the four wheeler and on down the track line we go. Got uh, another cat here. That's a Tom, pretty nice sized one. Um, just a beaver carcass in this cubby set. Um, I've caught, 
think three bobcats here in this particular spot. That's good habitat for them as far as hunting and whatnot. So uh, that makes eight for me and the wife. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice tom. Oh, yeah, pretty decent spots too. Big paws. Yep, just a uh, beaver carcass. Uh, number two Bridger Douglas on a drag. He didn't go far, he was just on the back side of the cubby there, so that's all right. Well, don't know if this will be the last catch of this season, but uh, we'll see. That's, uh, that's a good cat there. Got a pretty decent beaver here in a snare. Uh, set these two snares on either side of this old sycamore. Um, they're draining this pond. They're putting the walking trail through here. and These guys wanted me to get this beaver out. They've been tearing the dam out down there and of course he just built it back. And He was trap shy so I got him on a, a snare there. Two snares and a little lure like I've seen. Uh, I think the meat trapper did that Tim. And, uh, it turned out it's a good set. I just set this yesterday. so It's the first one that's uh, drowned. Well, actually he got choked out. I, Made some pretty small uh, loops on the snares and they got cam locks. So, yeah, right there's the lodge and this is the old pond. So, get this guy up on the bank and have a look at him. Yep, there the old fella is on there. Not a bad one, uh, a little bigger than the one I caught up the road there. But, uh, still a pretty nice bee yep, along the old tracks here. I said they wanted him out of here. They got to drain all these culverts for this trail coming through. So, guess I did my good deed for the day. Later, folks. Got coyote number 17 here. It's a young male. He's a little bit rubbed. So, I don't know if I'll put that fur up or not. But dirt hole set. Uh, had part of a duck carcass here. It's totally wiped out. But uh, I've caught now a bobcat in this set, a gray fox, and now this yote. So that's all right. So number two bridge or Douglas. It's road coming out of the hills down to the old railroad track. And my four-wheeler's not here because a tree fell across so I had to hoop it up here. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, on we go, folks. So, folks, uh, that's it for this season. Um, I did pretty good, I guess. Uh, I just uh, compete with myself, so <laughs> I guess that's the best way to go. Uh, Would have liked to have done a little more water trapping, but we had way too much rain, as you could see. The, Weather's just been all over the place, and uh, I didn't really get to do much uh, water trapping down the spring fork line, so that was about 14 miles of creek I could have trapped, but didn't get an opportunity to, had to move on to quicksand, and then back home for the last week of the season, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> time to go shave. I won't need this, because I won't be uh, going 35 miles an hour on a four-wheeler, and single digit weather or rain or what have you so uh, now it's on to uh, gardening bushcrafting and whatever else I get into so uh, later y'all all right done it again good old grinner Ripped that nice dirt hole set yeah boy on we go. Check out this visibility, folks. Not much. It's a foggy morning. Well, there's a way out from. There's a valley over there somewhere. There's a way I'm going.
Got a young female coyote here. Uh, it poured the rain last night, as you can see, and I wasn't really expecting to catch anything. So. That's a number two Duke. Uh, had a cubby set here for bobcats, and this young female wandered in. So got her uh, not too bad a looking fur, but like I said, it's a small one. Have caught a couple old dogs in these uh, cubby sets, but it's rare. So get her out of there and uh, remake this set and go on. We got a compass set over there, so we'll see how that turns out. Onward. Got another coyote in a cubby set. I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, number two Duke. Uh, been using number two Dukes because I had to get into some of my old traps and uh, in years, and it's been a good one. Had very little trouble out of it. Put thousands of miles on it, so I'll get her repaired and on we go. So we got the old beast back on the road. Uh, Made the 40 mile round trip out and uh, got a tie rod in for it and replaced it. So I checked traps in the Jeep yesterday and we didn't get anything, but uh, back on the four wheeler today and we got us another cat. Number two Bridger, uh, just an old dirt hole set. Uh, I've caught two gray foxes here now and this bobcat so not a huge cat but it's uh well it's not a bad one either so that's a pretty little critter like i said number two bridger just a dirt hole set uh, so uh on we go that's a nice catch yeah we got a little female gray fox here um, one and a half bridger offset jaws dirt hole set had it cabled off to that tree there uh, this is what's been getting uh, my uncle's chickens my opinion because this place is right down there and up there's my old house I've been working on forever so it's uh, good to get this little chicken killer out of here pretty little fox oh yeah I got a new I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know uh, on Trapper's Chat, tell them guys I uh, didn't travel with a cell phone. I'm running a 20 some mile trap line, but cell phones don't pick up out here, so it wouldn't do me no good, no how. Sorry about the close up, but I just put a string on this camera, so if I'm in the water, I don't drop it. So I'm going to have to try to uh, rig that critter up and uh, see if I can get out of here. Yeah, I know. I need new tires. That's a next season purchase. We'll see what happens. So the main road's right up there. Uh, actually come out on top of the hill. and I had some traps up this holler I had to walk to. So the uh, road out there just takes you to the main one so I'm close um, I took my set and tongs and popped that ball joint back on there and I'm just driving really slow because the wire it's really just for looks at this point it's not holding anything so anyway I said the main drags right there so I made her out just limped her I don't know Probably a two mile limp or something. But uh, we adapt and overcome us uh, true outdoorsmen. But that's what I get for telling Dave to get him a Honda. I mean, I got no complaints about that when I've had it for 10 years. Uh, <coughs> pardon me, it's a little cold. Do some shout outs here. Uh, BYB Buck 2003, I think I said that right. R&R &R Outdoors and mink trapping patty said i think i got those right but uh, i want to give those folks shout outs they got some uh, trapping channels and uh, they're kind of just getting started so a little support would certainly help them so i gotta get this critter out of here and uh, move on down the line we're finally getting some winter weather again so uh, 
On we go. I got us a female coyote here. Number two Bridger Douglas. Um, dirt hole set here. The base of this locust tree. Um, I just caught a bobcat in that set over there. Um, day before yesterday, I think. It's back here in these trees. and It's a good spot. I've caught quite a few critters here in the last couple years. But, uh, it's not a bad looking yoke. Um, so, uh, get that critter out of there. Remake this set. And uh, on we go, yeah. Uh, like I said, they travel through here, so be remaking that, so. Onward. Yep. Got us a big cat here. Pretty good sized male. Number two Bridger Douglas. Uh, I'm running a longer line this year. But she is uh, pretty mangy. They're just rubbed really, really bad. So, But uh, yeah, that is the second yoke in a cubby set last night. And then it poured the rain. I mean, right here you can see how this old beaver pond flooded and you can probably hear the water over there so that's unusual well I'll remake this set and uh, on we go well finally got me a stinker it's the first one I've caught in a long time pretty critter right in that cubby set just caught a coyote in that yesterday so I'll have to remake that set. He tore it up pretty good. But, uh, pretty skunk. On we go. Well, that's not good. Broke a tie rod end. Come through them water holes back there. Yeah, right there it is. So I've got to try to rig something up to get me out of here. Probably. I don't know, maybe a four or five mile walk to somebody's house from here. Um, I'd probably have to go in that direction, so. <sighs> Gonna have to uh, figure something out. Got some trapping wire there and pliers uh, 